Hello, I'm Nari McDiamond from Mining Journal, and today I'm speaking with Ian Bambra, the Managing Director of Gold Explorer Saturn Metals. Now, Ian, since we last spoke, your exploration program's in full swing at your projects in Western Australia and New South Wales. If we start at Apollo Hill, what are drilling results telling you as you work towards a resource upgrade early next year? Yeah, um, very, very positive things, Nari. Uh, thank, thank you for the opportunity to talk today. We um, since, since our last resource upgrade in January this year, um, which which gave us just under um, just under a million ounces, I think we we've set about sort of that that next phase of growth for the deposit. Uh, we've had a go at three sort of initiatives. One is um, looking for great leverage points underneath the existing pit shell and the, the resource pit shell, and we've had some of the best intersections we've ever seen in the history of the deposit. We then did a, a grade control program um, to see how that deposit pulls together. And it, we, we were delighted with the results in that we, we saw improved continuity, more mineralization, some localized grade opportunities and controls on mineralization we'd never seen. And, and generally a much, a much or confirm the health of the thing. Um, and of course, that also helps add ounces. And, and drive the economics on the deposit. And then I suppose the most recent phases of drilling or up, up to mid-June, uh, up to mid-year, were the southern extension to the deposit and uh, what was the southern extension. We, we've added about a kilometre to the south of the ore body in terms of mineralisation on a 1.4 kilometre ore body. So, you know, you've gone from 1.4 to 2.4. In a nutshell, and again with some some really nice uh, intersections and grade, and and I think it, it'll bode well for the next resource upgrade, which we're planning uh, early 2022. I suppose most recently, after that successful program in the south, we've now started extending north, uh, not not rocket science, south north and. Uh, I guess we were delighted the, uh, last week when we published some, some fantastic results uh, where, where we'd stepped out to the north and got seven metres at 11 grams, um, you know, three metres at 17 in, in one hole, another three metres at about 17 in another. And uh, it, it's really opened up that northern corridor as well. So the drill rig uh, will be back there very, very soon. Um, drilling around that and, and, you know, with the aim of trying to bring that into that next resource upgrade as well. So overall that that's done well, but um, I think we're also delighted with the, the sort of high grades up there and a, a very different um, looking style of mineralization. So, and, and that's what's got me quite excited. Well, speaking of the mineralization, you've also had some metallurgical results out recently as well. What are they telling you in terms of potential processing? Yeah. Um, fantastic metallurgical results. Uh, you know, we Apollo, Apollo Hills always, always sort of had a history from the test work to date of a, a very clean and simple metallurgy. And uh, where, whereas that test work had previously been in quite a limited area, we wanted to really accentuate that, or I suppose look at across the whole deposit, make sure the whole deposit was behaving in the same way. Um, and, and perhaps use the metallurgy as a way to differentiate us from, from other deposits of a, of a similar nature. So the, the results sort of off the top of my head were, I think, a, an overall recovery for all material types of about 97% at, you know, normal sort of commercial grind sizes. And that, that's really at the, the top of the range recovery. So that, that was fantastic news. And the fact that it was across all material types uh, was also you know, for the health of any processing op option, um, really good. Most importantly though, uh, out of that, we found that 65% of that recovery was done with gravity gold. So that's cheap, simple, physical processing, no reagents, and that really can help, you know, one of your major cost structures and reducing your unit costs on the deposit. So for a deposit like Apollo Hill with that big tonnage, um, you know, lower grade scenario, um, really helped driving margin. So that, to me, that was a, a, a very important step to accentuate. Um, uh, beyond that, we then looked at how the material performs at coarser grind sizes. 
So coarser ground size has been around 250 microns, which essentially means less energy use, less time grinding, quicker recoveries, that kind of things. And we were delighted to still see across all those material types in the whole deposit, about, I think it was 91.3% if, if I'm exact. But again, very importantly, the gravity was up in the sort of uh, 50, 58% region. And that's kind of up a, at least up a quartile, perhaps up, up a tenth percentile, you know, in the globe in terms of that kind of processing option. Again, lower processing costs, which helps drive the economics of the, the pit. Beyond that, we took an, another step further and looked at that material if we crushed it, just crushed it, not ground it necessarily to two millimeters. And we were, we were again seeing very high recoveries and very high gravity recoveries, which uh, really starts to lead into our next phase of test work being heat leach. And that can offer lower processing, uh, lower capital costs or better co capital cost efficiencies as well. So putting everything together, you know, we've had a, a great drill program in the first six months. We've then extended the thing to the north. We're then bringing the metallurgy together and all those factors will be used in that next resource upgrade. Um, and there's still a bit of MET processing to go to that respect. And I, I'm, you know, I'm, we're trying to sort of two plus two plus two equals eight, not six, uh, is, is what we're looking for, uh, really. And I, th I think we'll get it. If we turn to your other project, Ian, in New South Wales, West Wyalong, you've started initial drilling there. Can you explain what these initial results are telling you? Yeah, there's, um, I mean, West, West Wyalong is a historic, you know, probably one of the highest grade historic gold fields in, um, in Australia and, and long forgotten. I don't think anyone has drilled there in about 100 years onto the particular structure we've targeted. Uh, so it's been very much a first, first go. Um, we've had the results back from the first three holes. There's still a couple of holes pending. And uh, one, of, one of those holes in particular, um, you know, I think I'd, I'd say close, but no cigar is the, the right phrase in that we're seeing very nice geology, all the ingredients in the right place. And uh, it, it is possible that was, we've got gold in the intersection and, um, you know, good exploration hole, uh, but it, right alteration, right geology, right place, right mineralization. And I think we could be close to something very important. Um, you know, not, not the stellar results everyone was hoping for, but I'm, I'm in no way discouraged and it's still very early days. So um, yeah, keep, uh, keep watching that space really. Lots of news flow to come. Ian, thank you for the update today. Thank you very much, Nari.